very special for you today. Um, if you have been sleeping, you've not noticed there's Hendrix season almost everywhere. Um, so much good content going over YouTube from various uploaders uh, of Hendrix stuff. It's just, just incredible. It's a great time to be a musician, you know. If you want to learn, there's a whole wealth of knowledge out there. Um, but today we've got a, a guest uh, lesson again, which I'm super excited about because we've had this guy um, on the channel a few times before. And every time he uploads or shares something, you know, I sit down and I, I digest it really heavily um, because there's always great content. This time we've got a version of Hear My Trainer coming uh, from the People Hell and Angels uh, version, uh, coming from Talek Toussaint. He's going to guide us through, he's going to talk about his gear, and it's just going to be a lesson on that song. Um, and he's going to be, Talek's going to be glossing over, you know, his approach to the tone, the way he plays it. And that's pretty much it, explaining that, you know, these things, Jimmy wouldn't play the same thing twice, you know, everybody knows that, it's just one of those things, and um, and I kind of like that. Um, and yeah, man, it's just just it's just great, you know, it's just sharing knowledge with people who want to learn, it's a really cool thing, and, um, you know, he, Jimmy Hendrix will go on influencing forever, man. Um, I don't want to. I don't want anything to come across as tacky and jumping on the train because it's not, man. You know, um, it's genuine and heartfelt. We're all Jimmy fans, and and rightly so because it's just the best to ever do it. He's a fucking dude. Simple as that, you know. Uh, anyway, um, let's get into the lesson. Make sure to follow Talag. I'm going to drop all his stuff below because the guy is a fucking phenomenal player um, who covers a lot of different genres. And, and he's out there on the circuit. So yeah, he's a great, great player and a great dude. Uh, make sure to follow him. I'll drop the links there below. And let's just get into the video, man. Um, you're gonna take, one thing I would say, is a lot to take in from this video. So revisit the video. This is the way I would approach it. Take little bits, just licks, you know, take little bits, take bits from here, take the approach and then just kind of come back to it and digest it. That's how these things work for me. If I try and cram things all in at once, my, my brain just goes into overload. Um, so yeah, just like a sponge, sponge a little bit up, sponge a little bit up, and that's how the brain works best, you know? Okay, it's Richie from Frederick, he's trying to be in here. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share where you can, and um, let's get into the video. Peace. Thank you, Talek. <laughs>
Hello everyone, so uh, today, 50 years ago, uh, Jimi Hendrix passed away and uh, Richie gave me the idea to make a kind of tutorial so I don't know yet how it will be because it's kind of hard to uh, really explain you know the, the little things I love to do based on Jimmy's playing but you know there's some guys like Randy Hansen that's insane if you close your eyes you really don't know who is who you know be between uh, Randy and uh, Jimmy uh, I'm not this kind of player of course so it's not really close to Hendrix uh, tone and playing but anyway I, I do my best uh, because I really love Hendrix playing is for sure the my, my biggest influence and I mean uh, is the guy is the reason why I decided to grab a guitar and try to, to do my, my my little things with this instrument here and you know basically uh, Hendrix is for me the it's not a competition but is the on the top you know uh, because of his mind of his soul and the way he was playing the melody and there's no words for that just you have to sit smoke a joint or uh, drink a tea or I don't know a beer anyway just sit and listen to his music and I mean, there's nothing else to say. He was unique, truly unique. Uh, I mean, like, he was in his own league, you know. Anyway, so I will first show you the, 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 the gear that I use for the video and pedals you need. And here we go. Cheers. Okay, so first, the amps. So today I have, I have two amps. That's a JTM45, which is pretty cool for this kind of Hendrix stuff. You know, you crank it and... Here we go. Uh, a twin reverb from 1976. But this one isn't a real twin reverb anymore since I modified it a lot. And so for the pedals, I don't have a univibe today. So tant pis, like we say in French. Uh, so no univibe. Uh, I will use this fuzz. It's a germanium based on a first phase kind of fuzz, you know, AC128. Really cool, cool, cool pedal. And a wah, -wah of course. So this one is a Denlop, old Denlop. My friend Seb in Switzerland modified it, so that's not a real Denlop anymore. Okay, and that's pretty it. And a Strat, uh, of course. For the speakers, EVM, EVM, e EVM, <laughs> not EVM. Uh, so yeah, here we go. <laughs> So uh, what I did here is I just cut the backing track to fit uh, the timing I wanted to, to have for the intro and the solo. So uh, the real song isn't like that. So uh, basically... Okay, so you will hit the, the high E. So... So the last one is... Or you can do... You know, basically, Hendrix never played the same licks twice. I mean, uh, I show you that. But, you know, uh, that's just an example, but that's not something that he played every time, you know. Okay, so with the click. Okay, so. So, uh, because I cut the backing track, like I said. Uh, that's not how the real song is. 
after so I play a D so uh, on the D then you will play a G major A major 2 So I'm based on the solo that you can hear on People, L and Angel's album. That's the best Hear My Train I Come In version I, I know. You start with a big, big band a la Hendrix, you know, that's really like a... You can play this part with a wah wah, that's really cool. Okay, so I will do that again. That's really interesting, there's a lot of things. So, you know, the next lick is really Hendrix. Uh, that's really... You know, and then... You know? Then he plays something like... Then and he played this part with the whammy bar. Okay, then and that's really Hendrix too. You know? So we go back to this part. Okay, so there's a lot of interesting things. After I did, you know, the... Here, that's really interesting. You know, that's... Sorry for my tuning. You know, so... And that's really interesting. Look at that. So you play... He plays this part, and he will he will grab the the low E string, and you know that's so insane because he plays the octave, you know the the harmony, and then he plays this this licks that I love. That's so fucking crazy. So uh, if I try to do that again...
again, really interesting. This kind of uh, after. Here we do. That's really interesting, you know. That's really cool. That's so Hendrix. Uh, you know, so uh, if I do that again, come on, boy. But really interesting too. Uh, you know this kind of this kind of bend. So after uh, it will play like the, fa the famous, you know. And you can do that with the wah wah. It's a bit easier to do that with the wah. Then you can try, you know. You know this kind of. Or you can do also instead of. You can do. You know, or you can play it here. What else? Uh -huh. About the bands, that's really interesting. Uh, you know, this kind of. Uh Okay, so thanks for watching. My only advice is just uh, don't try to just emulate not for not the whole thing because it's impossible first and it's a waste of time. Uh, I mean, that's that's not something to do. Just take all the things you love and do it your way, you know, but don't try to be like him because it's not something I think smart to do because you'll never touch it, you know, so that's that's not a good idea at least i i think but yeah take the good things play it like you want to play it and that's it that's pretty it okay so uh have a good day i fucking destroy my pedal board here have a good day and uh see you soon thanks to richie of course because that's his idea you know and uh especially when we talk about hendrix uh he knows the tone he knows the way he knows he feel the things uh I mean, he's the man for that, so uh, Richie, cheers man, and uh, to everyone, have a good day, cheers. Holy fucking shit, man. Oof.